Hey, I've got some great Japanese memes for you today, so let's get started. Me, waiting for my boyfriend to get out of the shower. Me, in the shower. Ooh, a revolving door. Ah, it won't stop. These people's flight from Okinawa was delayed, so the ground crew treated them to some art. The message says, sorry about the delay. Very cute and very Japanese. Airlines where I'm from break your guitar and refuse to apologize. <laughs> Don't get mad at me for my bad Texas accent, okay? I'm Canadian. I've been following this girl on Twitch for a while and she has some great freakouts. <laughs> You won't believe it's the same person. Wrinkly Granny tries the god tier cream that's all the rage in Korea. It's not the same person. <laughs> this is Storeto to you. It is a highly concentrated, savory dipping sauce with an intense flavor derived from its blend of soy sauce and rice wine. It's normally used as a dipping sauce for cold noodles after you dilute it with water or. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. What are you doing? Aw, I want to kiss this dog. With the dog's consent, of course. Remember two videos ago when I showed you the character for Moon? Another example of someone who uses the Moon character in their name. These cops were escorting some ducks down the street. An 86-year-old man uploaded this short to YouTube saying that he's got into a new drink that he calls kawa, which means river in Japanese. A bit of Chinalysis here, but in China, I believe there is a similar meme. Monster is colloquially called this. I'm not going to speculate about Chinese, but if you've ever heard about the Japanese oni before, that's the first character. The second character is Claw, which is probably chosen because it looks exactly like the monster logo, even more than Kawa, to be honest. This is a real poster drawn by Japanese students. Taxes rock! Thanks to taxes, I was able to make some precious friends. You might be thinking, huh? And the Japanese replies are full of confused people too. But it turns out this was part of a contest to promote tax literacy and it came in third place. Someone made a meme about it based on Uma Musume, which is a very popular horse girl app that Japanese people love to waste money on. Instead of taxes, it says, In-app purchases rock! Thanks to in-app purchases, I was able to make some precious friends. This is Manaris, a Japanese living meme, forced by the internet to eat the same fast food every day for four years now. He frequently collaborates with the girl from that video, Mogu-chan, who is a famous TikToker. And over the past week, he's been making appearances at a music festival. He was invited on stage by a massive artist. He got interviewed by an idol. <laughs> He's also met lots of fans and been in some of their performances too. All of this because of an internet challenge. If you want to know more about Manaris, you can check out my interview with him. I love this one, but it confused a lot of Japanese people in the replies. If you read it how it's supposed to be read, it says, Long lasting coverage for bright skin. But see this character on the end, and then this character? They look really similar, don't they? And if you read this last character as if it's the earlier one, the sentence becomes, there's no way your bright skin would last forever, idiot. 
Before we continue with the memes, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Incogni. Are you tired of getting random spam calls and emails? Data brokers might be the culprits. They collect your personal info and sell it to businesses which can lead to unwanted contact. The good news is that you can ask these data brokers to remove your information, but doing it all by yourself would be a huge hassle. That's where Incogni comes in. They'll reach out to data brokers, request your data removal, and tackle any objections on your behalf. Here's the simple rundown. First, create an account with Incogni to let them know whose information they'll be working to remove. Next, give them permission to work for you and contact data brokers on your behalf. Finally, just wait. They'll handle everything and keep you in the loop every step of the way. When I signed up for Incogni, it found 55 data brokers with my information and quickly sent them removal requests. In just 48 hours, 14 of them had already removed my data. And here's a sweet deal for you guys. The first 100 people to use my code JAPAN with the link below will get 60% off Incogni. So click the link below and take control of your personal data today. Son, any updates about your job search? These canine gas masks were created by the Soviet Union in World War I. That's great, but can the dog get you a job? The way these products are lined up together spells out a phrase in Japanese. Hai, hai, tsuyoi, tsuyoi. This is a dismissive, sarcastic way of acknowledging someone that wants to be told they are strong, like a kid who thinks he's Ultraman or something. It's basically saying this, actually. This is a tough business oh, to run for oh, president. Oh, no, you're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader. This cat is a well-known meme in Japan. Initially, it served as a champion for workplace safety and risk mitigation. However, as often happens on the internet, Mr. Cat was soon co-opted into a vehicle for ironic humor and dark comedy. Now, you'll often see him marching gleefully into dangerous situations. In this meme, Mr. Cat was suddenly invited out to lunch by an old classmate. I don't remember them very well, but this must be fate. What should happen to Mr. Cat? asks the writer, and there are four options. Multi-level marketing invitation, multi-level marketing invitation, multi-level marketing invitation, or multi-level marketing invitation. So I guess I don't need to tell you, but it seems like multi-level marketing is a problem in Japan too. To understand this meme, first you need to understand that unlike in the West, automatic doors in Japan generally don't just open as you walk up to them. Instead, oftentimes you'll have to stick out your arm and sometimes even touch the door to get it to open. Why? Well, I couldn't find any concrete reasons, but my best guess is because there's lots of foot traffic on shopping streets, and they don't want the door opening and closing all the time. In this meme, the yellow panel is an imposter. It's made to look like the automatic part you need to touch to open the door, and it says automatic in big letters, but it's actually a vertical acronym. In smaller letters, it says open it yourself. This is the most clever Japanese wordplay I've ever seen, but it's a bit complicated, so bear with me. The meme is supposed to make someone casually scrolling by think that it says, Breaking news, NATO and the US have invaded Russia. But what it actually says is, Natto and rice have invaded my mouth. You might be wondering how these statements could possibly be similar. Well, Natto and NATO are pretty obvious, but how can rice mean America? Well, in Japanese, the symbol for rice is actually the shorthand for America. Kinda weird, right? But it all makes sense when you look at Chinese. In Chinese, it's common to abbreviate country names to just one character. For example, France Fancy. turns into Fancy. The second character just means country. And England Ingolai. turns into Ingo. This is America in Chinese. Jian. It gets shortened to this character Mei. which means beautiful and it becomes Meiguo. beautiful country. But Japanese couldn't just copy this. Why? Because in Japanese, this character is pronounced bi, not mei, like it is in Chinese. So, they needed something that sounded like mei, and they went with bei, which means rice. So, in Japanese, America is beikoku, or rice country. Crazy, huh? As for invaded my mouth, well, it's similar to this meme from earlier. This is the character for mouth, and this is the character for do, which would be the first character of doshia. Again, an abbreviation. Hopefully, you can understand all that. Let me know if you weren't able to. On my channel, I often tell personal stories from my time in Japan, but today I have a treat. My friend Gary has an amazing story for you guys about his time living in Osaka. 
Yeah, so one morning, I decided to order Macca's delivery online. I guess most people around the world call it McDonald's. And at that time, I was pretty fat. So I ordered like five burgers and a lot of chips. 20 minutes later, I got a knock on the door, obviously thinking it was my food. But then when I opened it, it was some cute girl who was Jehovah's Witness. And she was like, oh, can I come in and have a chat about our religion? I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I let her in. And then we just like had a little bit of a chat about Jehovah's Witness. And as I was talking to her, got another knock on the door. It was my Macca's order that had arrived. So I got the Macca's order. And then as I was emptying it out, she was surprised by the amount of food that I was bringing out, like all the five burgers and a ton of chips. And she was like, wow, is that all of that for you? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, if you want some, you can have some. She's like, yeah, okay, I'll have some. So then we just started eating Maccas together at the table. Then when she was done, she's like, yep, all good, I gotta go. I'm like, yep, no worries. And then she left. <laughs> I love that story so much. Actually, honestly, he just told it to me on Discord one day and I was like, can I use that in a video? Well, that's all the memes for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Thanks to the people who summited memes in the Discord, especially Razor Beams. And thanks to Incogni for sponsoring this video. The first 100 people to sign up with the link in the description will get 60% off Incogni.